Jodie Foster estaba aterrada por Anthony Hopkins y contó una curiosa anécdota cuando le preguntaron sobre su relación. Ambos protagonizaron El silencio de los inocentes. Una película recordada por todos por la increíble actuación de Jodie Foster, pero especialmente por el espeluznante papel de Anthony Hopkins. Era tan temible la interpretación del legendario actor que la joven actriz no pudo dirigirle la palabra por miedo. Pero lo que sucedió una vez terminada la película mostró que ambos tenían algo que decirse y ninguno se atrevía. I was eating a tuna fish sandwich, it was the last day, and he came up to me, and he, I guess he was sidled up to me, and I said, I, I don't know, I sort of had a tear in my eye, I was like, I'm, I was really scared of you, and he said, I was scared of you. <laughs> I think it's funny, because why would anyone be scared of me? I don't so, know. Ninguno se había atrevido a hablarse, pese a que compartieron set de grabación durante varias semanas. Pero claro, Jodie Foster entregó un detalle muy importante para describir cómo era su relación mientras filmaban la película. Filming the... The scene. You know, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> Would you do that again? <laughs> when you were filming the scenes yes. when he was behind the partition, while they were reset cameras, you just sat there. Well, yeah, because they were. He was screwed in. You couldn't. I couldn't get to him. He was behind the glass. Did he stare at you? Um, <laughs> sometimes he did. <laughs> I think you're right. Um, a lot of the scenes actually in Sounds of the Lambs are done to the camera, which is this sort of odd technique that Jonathan and Demi came up with, this sort of Hitchcockian technique. And most of the time that when he's delivering his lines, he's not looking at me, he's looking directly at the camera, and I'm somewhere behind there where he can't see me. Y tuvieron que pasar más de 30 años para que ambos se cruzaran nuevamente frente a una cámara y relataran todo lo que fue la grabación de la legendaria película. And then we met at the offices and I couldn't believe my luck at the moment. And I was scared to speak to you. I thought, she just won an Oscar, another Oscar. I was with them. And we had know, a never I'm scared of you because of your performance. Um, we didn't get to speak too much before the actual read through. So we just sort of waved across yeah. the room and then sat down at the table. And as you launched into Hannibal Lecter, I really, I felt like a chill come over the room, you know, and I felt gripped and I was just too scared in a way. It was like we were almost too scared to talk to each other. La actuación de Anthony Hopkins como Hannibal Lecter era lo que despertaba ese temor en Jodie, pero ese no era el único sentimiento. El galés estaba haciendo tan bien su papel que generaba en todos emociones genuinas. I can't think of anything more hurtful than somebody standing there saying, I really feel sorry for you. You're really pathetic. He started um, imitating my accent. He would say, uh, um, oh, your problem, Clarice, is you, you need to get a little more fun out of life. And suddenly, I just, it upset me so much. It like struck a really bad chord in me. Anthony's the nicest man I've worked with in a long time. And the difference between that, of course, and, and the, uh, the fury and passion of, of uh, Hannibal Lecter is, uh, is very interesting. I'm working with, with Tony and Jody um, really falls into the category of and and I get paid to do this too because it's 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 literally such a joyful experience it was great every morning when we'd we'd do a lecture scene Tony would come in and go good morning Jonathan you know you're really the one that's mad <laughs> something in the man's face um, suggests tremendous decency and intelligence it's what made him him um, so great for the part of the doctor and the elephant man And he still looks like a great, brilliant, humane doctor, except what we know about him now goes against the grain. Lo cierto es que el personaje interpretado por Hopkins se convirtió en un icono de culto, uno que pasó a la historia como uno de los asesinos más recordados del cine. Y es que todos, en cierto punto, nos pudimos sentir como Jodie Foster, porque claro que daba miedo. Esa tranquilidad y cordialidad para hablar, pero que escondía a un horrible monstruo, le ponen los pelos de punta a cualquiera que haya visto la película. Pero lo que vivió la actriz fue algo diferente, porque ella tuvo que compartir durante varias semanas con ese terrorífico personaje, pero que era interpretado por un hombre que más tierno no podía llegar a ser. And 